Well, everybody, um, this is Jerome Wright, and once again, you're joining me on my YouTube Jeronification channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to be referencing artworks and details and encryptions that are contained there in um, satanic like images. In this case, here we have the Sabbatic goat, right? I guess it would mean Satan's goat or whatever. Um, but it's my position, no matter what ancient images, what, whether they're re referencing something divine or something satanic, it does not make a difference that they are all referencing the same thing. These moments in time that creatures like this are referenced, it is all relating to that of historical moments in time where there were genetic bridgings. Genetic bridgings with what? Genetic bridgings with Africans, with apes, Africans, Asians and um, resulting genes that were created that, that subsequently resulted in our Caucasian counterparts and this is what this is all about this here when you see an image like this here a being being carried among, uh, uh, on shoulders I don't care what it this is nothing different than if they were car carrying the Ark of the Covenant because what is happening here what is being said here is that they are carrying a genetic grail a genetic holy grail, a genetic change, which calls for genetic changing from one creature to the next, okay, and new genes being created, all right, I just want to call your attention first to the cross-like symbol here, and the, and the, and the center of this um, sabbatic goat-like image, I have disclosed that the cross-references, the cross-referencing of mankind's genes with that of animals, and in, in itself, and mankind themselves. It's my position that the cross means the cross referencing and cross contamination of genes of that of mankind. Okay? Over here, you see another symbol here, which is an X'd out stone on, on a column here. This is a, 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 like an X going down. It's my position that it shows this column is showing a genetic strand X'd out. This is an X going up and down. X out. This column is X out, meaning that there was an extraction. X meaning extraction. What was being extracted? Well, what's happening in here is that this is showing that you have white bridged over black, and these genes are being contaminated. So one gene is being X out, the dominating gene, which was that of our ape and African ancestor. And this is what this is relating to. So where's my proof relating to this? Well, this symbol here. Excuse me. <coughs> I mean, this this ball here. You see this ball as being referenced a lot in, in ancient religion, Christianity, about these balls. These are altered genes. And what is being altered? Well, if you notice that this guy right here, that has the beard and, and, and um, beard, the caveman looking like appearance, his hands come up to grab this this um this carrot this this carrots that he's carrying this sabbatic goat on his hand comes up in a clasp right here right at the clasp of that guy's hands he creates the open eye or the eye socket of that of the ape you come down here there's the ape's nose and you come here there's the opening how the artist created the opening mouth of the ape and then the hair of the ape this is the skin of the face you know that that key with that keyhole or keyway like face there that the ape has, you know, that, 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 that uh, where the ape has a bare face and then the hair continues off to the side like it has sideburns. Well, this is what this is symbolizing, that this, these genes, that they're carrying them, they are balancing these genes now. And this is what this is, a genetic bridging and calls for a change. Where do these genes end up going? To royalty. Is th these same images are shown down here in the cloths and shown where they're picked back up at and how they're being altered. Now, there's a cycle that comes from here, a cycle of nation. If you look here in the shoulder of this guy here, dark, you'll see a face. There's multidimensional faces. There's a face. I call this the witch-like woman, Medusa-like image. Snaking off of her coming over here to this guy's mouth area. But what is shown here? Her mouth is open at this guy's elbow. You know what that is symbolizing? That the genes from this guy 
is bridged into this guy. How was that done? Well, his arm goes directly at his waist side, which is at his penis area, right there, showing you that this is a reference of semen, right there. Where is it going? It's showing you into the mouth of this person that is right here. Okay. Then it shows you other genetics snaking off in the same fashion towards this um, person. It's showing you how these genes, there was a washing of our ancient ape and African um, genes. I'm going to show you something in, in another video. This is just one. Now, there are also, with this sabotic goat, I can see images in the wings. I can show you apes and, 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 um, and, and which face is in there, the whole night. I mean, convincingly. You can even see a bearded guy here, the mouth, the beard, the eye, and they're facing over towards that, towards the hand. Look right here. Look at the faces, people. Here. All through here, multi-dimensional faces. I know what these faces are. I can break each one of them down because I know what is being stated on both sides of the wing. Showing you that this being is bridged between this, these beings and these beings. Balance the, the, the genes. There was a new gene created. And now these genes are actually being distributed at this point. Showing you how they're being distributed. Crossed over. Who's involved? The cross, the um, a religion. Um, um, ancient royalty, ancient religion, and showing you where these genes are actually going. And this is what this is all about. Now, I'm going to go with, here is Francis D. Goya. You can, you, can, you can Google, this is a famous image. You can Google Sabotic Goat. Okay? And this is one of the uh, um, number one searches that actually comes up. Okay? Now, why in the world is this being sitting here? There's beans to pick it in his wings, and I can show you a trail of these beans shown here. M meaning, number one is the ape, the witch-like woman, the mother of creation, the Medusa-like woman, and her image is shown here, from this large estate to its mother. And it's not just in, in one direction and going this way, but they're multidimensional. About five or six of her faces appear just right here. Out of this one, just in this small area, you will see one realize going this way with a snake at its head, one going that way. Look at these images, people, for what they truly are. It's the answer to how these artists encrypted their artworks. I'm going to bring up another image of a sabotic goat. And, I'm, and this one is, is more telltelling. But this is actually the, um, the witch's Sabbath. The witch's Sabbath, okay? This is another, this is um, Francis D. Goya. I'm going to put that name up there so you can actually see it there. Um, Francis D. Goya, um, Why Lucentes Witches Sabbath. Okay, just go with the Witches Sabbath. Okay, and by the way, I ran out of ink and that's why these images look a little discombobulated. I want to show you something. That, that there has my encryption, I mean my, my highlights on it. People, this is the Witches Sabbath. So, what in the hell is they're doing with dead children on a stick? These women bringing sacrifices, giving sacrifice. This woman with her face in the crotch of this upright, uprighted goat-like creature. What is going on with this? What is wrong with an artist to create such images? Now, when you Google this image, this is a very popular image again as well, too. Just the Witch's Sabbath, and this is Francis, uh, what is it? Francisco de Goya y Lusuentes, okay? Well, basically, people, these artists are stating the same thing. What do you think these women are doing? Sacrificing their children? First of all, look at this woman how this woman has almost the face of that, that creature. If you look closely at it, you will see that this, this woman has almost the face of that creature. But what it is, is what you don't see. It's showing you that these creatures were broken down. This is a gene. This is representing a gene that was created. That calls from the alterations of that of our ape and ancestor gene. I mean, ape and African ancestor gene. And it shows you through how many children it was broken down through, showing you the sacrifices that was made and what was actually done. These women represent civilizations, nations of different individuals that this contamination process went and went through. And then you notice how 
these creatures, well, well, these people start to become lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Just like I was saying all along of how they're looking from their darkened state and discombobulated state, almost looking like mine and like, you see that? And then all of a sudden they start becoming normal because it shows you, it's showing you a genetic grail, a genetic breakdown of these genes. So what is being described? Well, it's actually quite simple if you want to accept what I'm actually telling you. This is a poor copy, but you can Google this image because this is all you have to do is go um, Witches Sabbath paintings or, or the guy's name I just gave you, Francisus, um, Francisco D. Goya uh, Lucentes, and that's the witches here. There, there it is right there, the Witches Sabbath, and there's his name. You go ahead and get that in. And you know what's being stated? The same exact thing. So, Look at this being here in the middle. It's showing you that there was an extraction. What was this being arm stretched out? You know what that being is saying? I was bridged over the ape and African ancestor. But he's not telling you outright. You know what he's telling you? He's telling you an encryption style. I don't have a pencil here. Look up. My subscription thing comes warning, comes monthly report. Get out of here, monthly report from my Norton. All right, here. Look at the face of the ape right here. There's the mouth, there's the nostril areas, there's the right eye, there's the left eye, there's the forehead, right here. See that ape? I'm gonna have it. I have it highlighted. I'm gonna show you. You see that? You can't see that unless I actually showed it to you. You know why I can understand it? Because I am paranormally linked to this, and I know what all of this means. Now, it's stating that our ape. An African ancestor, their genes were bridged over. And that's why this guy's arm is over there, bridged over. So what was they bridged over with? You know what he's telling you? They were broken down. This is our ape and African ancestor represented. You know what they were bridged over with? Well, if you look on the other side, people, right here, there is the face of a lion right there in the rocks, encrypted in the rocks. This is how the genes were broken down. You see that? Showing you that bridge between these genetics altered by with these animals. Can you see that? I want to see if you see that that lion's face there. Let me see. Let me come in closer. Um. Oh yeah, right here. Go right there, and you'll see the face of a lion. There's the eyes, the nose, the mouth area here, right in here. There's the face of a lion. All you have to do is Google the image and you will see it in color, real nice and clear. It's encrypted in the rocks behind. You know what that's implying? That the founding genetics, the founding stones of genetics, mankind's genes, were broken down utilizing these creatures. And through a sacrificing of lives, death and resurrection, new genes were being created. So, they're telling you that they intervened in man's kind's genes. Not just man's kind, but animal kind as well. New genes created. They were sacrificing death and resurrection. And now, what comes out is this. And this woman, look at this woman's face down at the crotch of this guy. Showing you that semen and blood. was New semen and blood was created. And this is what this is about, people. All you have to do is Google either one of these images. This image here or that image right here. You see the face, the monkey's face tilted down this way. The guy's hands cupped over. You know what he's saying? I'm bridged over. His hands is cupped over the eye of the ape. I'm bridged over. His hands are, are, are made in a, in a cupping way, in a bridging way. I'm bridged over this guy. There's the nose, there's the mouth facing down. And the, and the pr precise hairline of that of what a monkey would actually be. The facial line between where hair and the skin separates on the monkey's face. Right there. Then the witch-like woman is all through here. Here. I can show you about five or six different of her faces here. And then the telltale sign is when you Google it, go here. You see these jeans snaking off here? See that look? Look here in this guy's hair and realize that there's an alien looking creature right there in his hair. It explains to me what they're discussing. It's my position 
that these genes, these these folk tales, these myth, these mythical tales that we have of these creatures, that was supposedly being myth, it shows that at what point these genes were created. I'm telling you from the continent of Africa, all through um, our Asian continents, all all over, all over, and then finally coming to South America, that there's a genetic grail, and at each historical moment, it describes what gene was created, what gene was manipulated, which gene was manipulated, and the result from all of this is that you would know which beings of mankind will become extinct first, which will be the last to survive, and where these genes are today. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel here on YouTube, and I'm going to dedicate this, this video to those of you that believe that I'm just attacking religion, Christianity, and 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 um, religious values of folks. To me, I, I mean, it just doesn't. I mean, it just doesn't give a damn because I know what all of that means. Religious means. I know what demonic beings mean. I know what angels mean. I know what aliens are. You know, and my fearless approach to all of this stuff is what allows me to see and understand what is going on your fear of this stuff is what keeps you from seeing the hidden messages which actually all describe historical moments in time that genes of mankind and animal kind were attacked and altered which will be resulting in a genetic change here in our future which will call for the many extinctions and terminations of many because what is happening is that you can in my in, in my position you can inject these these genes into the, the masses of mankind and contaminate mankind's gene and they won't show up until three plus four hundred years later and that's what this is all about that's why these historical biblical moments is coming up and being spoken about now this is why they're talking about the returns of beings all of this people is described in our, our world's artwork, which is a genetic grail. This is no different than that of the Ark of the Covenant. If this was a box, that familiar box that everybody's looking for for this gold, for this box full of gold or or answers to everything, to the Holy Grail and all of that, these people are flaunting it because this is out of the box. These are specific genes, contaminations, and in describing these locations where this artwork was created and the individuals depicted is showing you which continents were affected based on the individuality of these people that are actually here. People, I'm telling you, you need to wake up. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel, and there will be more because I don't have no end. Thank you. But ancient images, what, whether they're re referencing something divine or something satanic, it does not make a difference that they are all referencing the same thing. These moments in time that creatures like this are referenced, it is all relating to that of historical moments in time where there were genetic bridgings. Genetic bridgings with what? Genetic bridgings with Africans, with apes, Africans, Asians, and uh, resulting genes that were created that, that subsequently resulted in our Caucasian counterparts and this is what this is all about this here when you see an image like this here a being being carried uh, uh, on shoulders I don't care what it this is nothing different than if they were car carrying the Ark of the Covenant because what is happening here what is being said here is that they are carrying a genetic grail a genetic holy position that the cross means the cross referencing and cross contamination of genes of that of mankind. Okay, over here you see another symbol here, which is an X'd out stone on on the column here. This is a uh, um, like an X going down. It's my position that it shows this column is showing a genetic strand X'd out. This is an X going up and down. X out. This column is X out, meaning that there was an extraction. X meaning X. Hello, everybody. Um, this is Jerome Wright, and once again, you're joining me on my YouTube Jeronification channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to be referencing artworks and details and encryptions 
that are contained there in um, satanic like images. In this case here, we have the sabbatic goat, right? I guess it would mean Satan's goat or whatever. Um, but it's my position, no matter what, you know, a genetic change which calls for genetic changing from one creature to the next, okay? And new genes being created, all right? I just want to call your attention first to the cross-like symbol here and then in the, in the center of this um, sabbatic goat-like image. I have disclosed that the cross-references, the cross-referencing of mankind's genes with that of animals and in, in itself, and mankind themselves. It's my 